Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Settlement Survival. It's your friend Star right here. Hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. Now uh, in this one, we got a couple things we gotta knock off the list here. So, to begin, we gotta get some technologies. I got four ready for us. We are gonna go into mining. We are gonna grab the forge. The forge is going to allow us to get these construction kits, which we are going to need for more endgame things. Uh, a couple episodes ago, we were talking about getting some silver and minting done, and we couldn't do that without the forge. We got it. Boom. Minting. And then we have this Exploration Technology 2. This is going to be giving us unlimited mines, which is something we definitely, definitely want to have. Now, we got one more extra point, and uh, I was thinking we go ahead and grab some fermenting action. This is going to be another good thing for our citizens' happiness, so we're going to grab that as well. We got boom, boom, boom. And I also wanted to point out that I did get the land fill ability. That's the thing that's going to flatten out land. It's pretty nice to have. So there's a couple of little spots like down over in here where we had some mountains and just kind of like, well, I'm going to level it out <laughs> because it's just so much easier. Uh, over here, we have also four additional plantations going in. Well, what I'm trying to do is take out the standard fields, but replace them before they're removed and then put in additional plantations on this side once these are out of here. We are also hurting a little bit with water. I have an un unbelievable amount of reservoirs working right now. We got five working. I'm also making sure that we got uh, wells in the towns spaces. So we have three little wells on this side. And then over here, I'm making sure we got big wells. Where are you? Right here, big well. It's hard to see when everything's white in the snow. <laughs> and also up in this area, we have push out our neighborhoods and all of our houses. I really like this line approach for the radiuses. It makes it super easy to expand. You just kind of keep, you know, it becomes a pattern. We got our big well, we got bathhouse, we got clinic, church, theater, and it will just keep going up like that as far as we want to go that way. And uh, we're still getting a bunch of people who are wanting new houses, like 54 new houses. Like, oh boy, can't quite keep up with all these people that want stuff. We have six people in our boarding house, which is not bad. We're doing okay with that. So as we wait for these to get completed, there's something else that we need to do. So our mine ran out some time ago. And uh, what we want to do is upgrade this mine. So we hit upgrade. We have the lanterns and steel, but we won't have any building kits. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab that. And then we'll go over to our buddy over here, the fairy. And we are going to do an order. Now, we want to have building kits. So we're going to have 60 of them. I'm going to actually, I'm going to do 120. I'm going to do a, a couple extra just so we have them. And then as well as seeds. Now, cotton is really important. We don't have any cotton seeds yet. We don't have any corn or wheat seeds. And those are the three that I really would like to get. So let's just check out corn. And then let's see what cotton is as well. So we can't quite get cotton yet. See, 44,000. I mean, you know what we could do? What if I did just go with 60? Do we have enough? Oh, temptation right there. Boom. And then we'll put that order in. We'll get cotton and corn. It'll be awesome. So that's going to take a moment for that to arrive. And uh, we're going to need a lot more plantations. So that means we're going to need more planks and we need more timber. Once this guy gets upgraded, we're going to fill that mine up and then we're going to switch everything over to not timber. So coal, it's a furnace burden instead of timber. Uh, to try and mate our current demand with timber, we have all sorts of forest farms going over here as you can see i don't know if I, I don't know if i need three people on those guys but whatever i'm gonna leave it i got 98 and we do need a little bit more clay for that so if we go back over to our kiln factories that's not where i get clay that's where i process clay <laughs> right here sand pit that's where the clay comes from so it looks like we're gonna need a couple more of these guys to try and keep up with that demand and so we haven't really done anything over on this side we put this bridge in a couple episodes ago but we didn't really do anything with it I think this is a good opportunity to do some of that stuff. And it looks like our ship is arriving. All right, we got our sand pit. Let's grab some of these guys and we'll do two sand pits. One of them is going to be for clay. One of them is going to be for sand. We'll do it like so. And I also want to put in a couple more reed fields over here because we are in demand. Reeds in, are in demand right now for ropes, for baskets. Oh, we don't have baskets yet, but I want to do baskets pretty soon increase the carrying capacity of our people because i mean that that can't be bad right carry more and more stuff so we'll get that stuff in queue and speaking of baskets let's just check this out we don't quite have them yet but we do have the point ready let's grab it okay and then the next thing we'll do pocket expansion right here 
and I know it says packet, but I like pocket because I think that's a funnier visual. And uh, we're going to increase the capacity of our people by 80. That's huge. Super good. All right, so now we're getting no clothes on our citizens. I don't know if you caught that. 70, it's not that great. So like I said, let's make these guys into flax, like so. And then these two, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. Oh yeah, agave tequila. Maybe actually, you know what we'll do? Let's put these also into flax, because then we'll increase our flax production overall. And then later we'll do some more some more agave. We'll leave the agave fields working right now and we'll just put in a couple more plantations. Since we got rid of some of those mountains that were over here as well, we have all sorts of room to do all these things that we are going to need a ton of. One other thing that I would really like to get is the the um, the corrals, but eh, that's another thing that we have to work towards because look at look at this over here. I got so many of these little pastures. And we got alpacas now, which is, which is cool, but we got, uh, it, it's just, uh, I don't really like how that looks. And then we're encroaching over here onto this logging camp, which we kind of whatever at this point, because we have so many farms, but and, uh, we're still hurting it. So I want to do that. Uh, also, I think this is new within the last couple of days. When I wanted to divide my critters, it asked me which pasture I wanted to divide to. And before it would just divide and just random. Well, I don't know if it was random, but it would just go into an open pasture that was selected with the same animal type. So a uh, little different. So we got a new town hall person over here. It looks like we got citizens minimum health is plus 20 and regenerate tree regeneration interval of minus 10. I'm going to do health because yeah. OK, so over on this side, so this is all cleared out, right? So what I wanted to do over here is we're going to make a little bit of a kind of like an industrial the area so i'm gonna do a road across like that and then one like so and then up here i want to grab a bunch of warehouses put some warehouses in here we'll probably do four like that and then we want to do so we got our forge right this is a new item so can we do one there and one there looks like it we'll do that okay and then we have the mint as well so this is what's going to turn our silver into coins and oh now that i see that i remember that i gotta get that done uh, i i re was replacing the graveyards but i didn't get that didn't finish all the way so let's do that right now put in a fresh cemetery like so that'll get queued up to get built this is still looks like it's being demolished uh we have six builders right now i don't i don't know if builders are the ones that are also demolishing but we need the coal for the furnace burdens and for all of the other heating things that we are going to be needing uh for future so we need to get that working as quickly as we can and these need to get done we got a lot of things that just need to happen like yesterday but that's kind of how it always is isn't it so like i said we'll make these flax we'll get these guys operating and producing for us got peas all the way up top and then i think we'll go oats all the way across and then we got let's see what we got we got corn and cotton yep okay so maybe we do all of these cotton we'll do these oats and then we'll do like four corns at the bottom. We'll see what happens. Uh, the corn is going to be good for fodder and you can use the fodder for fishing as an upgrade. And it's also, I don't know if you can use it. Oh, you can use it in the, uh, the pastures and the corrals. Let's see if I can see it here. Nope, I don't see it. So maybe it'll appear once we get that unlocked, but not quite yet. We almost have a fifth research academy built over here. That'll be done in just a moment. Um, oh, it looks like I don't have these guys using books or paper. So I'm going to turn those on. Remember, that's just to help speed up the processes. That's another thing that we need the trees for is paper. Um, I think, yeah, we're, so we're using the trees. We could switch this over to reeds uh, if we start having an abundance of reeds. I don't think we have a whole lot, though. So let's see if we can see that's under textiles. 1600, that's not bad. It's not bad. So let's let's do that. We'll switch this to reeds. Uh, we are hurting on water again. So here's that zero water as I looked over there. It hit 70. So we'll probably want to do it in another reservoir. Ugh, the water is just crazy right now. The demand that we have. What's the other item that we didn't build? Oh, the winery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So up here, let's do a couple wineries as well. We'll do one. Mm, sure, why not? And then we're doing okay with tools, but maybe we want to do another blacksmith up here because uh, I do want to have a handcart eventually. So we'll have at least one of these blacksmiths up here working on the handcart. And what else could we do? We could do another tailor. We that's I mean, we're always going to need clothes, right? So we'll just do a basic tailor. Maybe we'll do two 
I'm gonna put one like so and like so and we'll just kind of snake the road up there and I don't know just like that for now and we'll probably we'll build over here so we'll, we'll adjust the road as we need so that's quite a bit of things that we need to get built it's gonna take a while for that to happen let's see what else we got going on over here so we could start to move these let's do that we'll start to move these fields out of here we'll demolish all four of these that's gonna allow us to put in new pastures we do have a bunch of pastures down here that are waiting to be built still but that's all right let's see we got school here where did our well, here is our plank guy so we got one sawmill working on planks let's let's throw in another one up in our new little industrial area so we'll grab sawmill and we'll put this guy up over here like so Ooh, look at that spot perfect that's another thing that will take a moment to get built okay so it looks like our deep mine is calling for the building kits that we ordered we did order 60. i made it a priority because uh there shouldn't be anything else that's using those except for the mint apparently uh oh so let's pause that it's going to take us a moment to get the other building kits, but the priority right now is to get this deep mine up and running and provide us with the fuel we need. And it's going to alleviate the pressure on the plank or on the timbers that we have right now. We got the 14 building kits. So we could see, we could keep our eyes peeled for this ship that comes in. And if they happen to have building kits on them, that would be swell, but I would be surprised if they did. All right, check it out. Our mine is complete. So we're going to, of course, grab coal. And we are going to make sure that this thing is plump full of workers. The whole oops, plump full of workers, I said. There we go, up to 10. We are going to be getting coal out of here like crazy. So that's great because both furnace, uh, both furnace burden factories, it's, I don't know why it's hard, so hard to say, are demanding coal. And then, of course, Smelter is demanding furnace burden for the steel. And there's a bunch of other things that are requiring furnace burden and, uh, it's just going to be great that it's going to be made out of coal. And as you can see, this little floaty text is uh, leaving us because I have denied the immigrants. We have 90 temporary workers, and I think that's pretty good right now. Uh, we don't really need a ton more, and uh, I'm not worried about the disease, of course, but, you know, I don't think we really think we need to have 100 plus leg legendary workers. I don't think we need to have 100 plus temporary workers, so I think we'll be good there. Uh, we have our whole row down here completed, and I did opt to sh make all of these corn because our food is so poor right now. Look at this C zero right now again. So that's the thing. But we do have this buff coming plus 30 percent uh, harvest yield. So that's great. Uh, I built, put this little section area in. We put two more reservoirs in. It's ridiculous. I know. And then that's for our water, of course. And then I put in another fishing dock and another reed field so we have additional reed production and fish because again our food sucks so that's that's a thing we have our sand pits working over here we have two more reed fields over here working things are coming together pretty good now see we got this red boy over here there's this white t-shirt red circle thing of course that means we have no clothes so we are going to uh luckily have our tailor workshops get completed we're going to double buddy all these up and we're going to use up some of that leather that we've been creating. And it looks like a couple of these other buildings have been created. So we are going to get these working. I'm going to make this steel. Good old Stuart and Flora out, out over here making things for us. And then the winery. So we currently have the agave tequila making us spirits, right? So we have wheat that can make us beer and we have oats that can make us beer. Uh, we also have herb spirits glass bottles for medicinal liquor, which I totally forgot about, which we definitely could do. And uh, but I think we'll go oats first and we'll make some of that good old beer and we'll do double of that. And I think because I saw that other medicinal part of this, I think we're going to do a another one and we'll make that be our medicinal stuff and things. So we'll get that working as well. Uh, oh, let's see, these are going to need more water, too. So that's uh, another reason why it's good to have more reservoirs because the, all these things are going to demand water up in here. Timber into planks. That's why we built this sawmill. We'll do two people working on that. Planks are definitely more of an end game uh, need than they are in the early, but you do get access to them pretty early. So uh, we do have 1,000 uh, timbers now. So that's that's great. That's happening pretty quickly now that we're shifting over from timber to coal. You can see that these are no longer in need of basic resources. So they're they're working hard and over here we got our 
blacksmiths working. I think I'm going to add one more person into each because we got them. These are maxed out. That's good. Pharmaceutical workshop. I think that's okay as is. Ooh, so this is not making anything right now. Linens and feathers. Hmm. Oh, okay. So that's why we got cotton cloth, right? So we're going to need to make some cotton cloth for, uh, from our cotton, of course, once we get that far. We haven't done that. We haven't gotten there yet, but we will get there for sure. So we have the two weaving workshops here, and these guys are making, yep, the cotton from the, making the cotton cloth from the cotton. And then I think maybe we'll do that way up over here. I feel like that's a long way to go to bring, bring the goods to process them. Uh, into cotton cloth, but that's kind of be gonna be what it is. We'll put this guy right over here Boom. We could maybe even fit another blacksmith back here or maybe a tailor's workshop right there, too. That could work We almost have another point. Okay, we have an additional point. Oh, well, we wanted to point this out So if you go into education and you get boarding school, it's of course it's demanding construction furniture We can't build it yet. However, this isn't the thing that I want to talk show you about if you go to Academy you get three development points just straight away. So I think that this is a worthwhile investment if we get construction furniture and start moving down this tree. We're about to have our second point so we can get the boarding school. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go construction furniture. And I think we will, since we have this nice little area now working for our industry stuff, I think it just makes sense for us to put in a couple of those workshops in here. So I'm going to bring the road down just a smidge like so. And we're gonna grab the there's a couple different furniture workshops here so we have the luxurious and we have just a regular old furniture workshop we'll do two of each i think so these are going to be pretty good we'll go like that like that boom 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 and we'll run our road in betwixt the two of them like so and look at that action that's gonna be a sweet spot for making some nice furniture stuff and things winery so we were talking about getting this to be the medicinal liquor boom doing it so that's gonna make us have a higher demand on our spirits. Now, I think we, this is our only thing that's making spirits right now, and only to 200. So I think we were going to do an even more winery. Do one more winery up in here if we can find a good spot for it. It's getting crowded now. It sure doesn't take very long, does it? We'll put this guy right here where we were thinking about putting the other one. This guy, we'll do brick. So I have one, one building kit being produced from glass, planks and steel, and one brick planks of steel just for a little bit more of a balance action uh, on the demand of those things and it, it's probably going to be worth it to even put in additional kilns to try and keep up with that demand so let's see kilns you get one to fit right there and let's do one more let me fit this guy back here almost we'll go we'll do it on this side right there okay weaving workshop you're going to be demanding of cotton we don't probably have we don't have any yet so we'll just hold off on that guy operating I did put in another builder's tent for an additional six workers. So we have a ton of builders right now going around town, getting all these things done. Uh, I put in two more plantations here. It looks like we can do two more to finish out this row. One and two. All right. And then we will, of course, finish this late stone road all the way across. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what do we have here. Two, two agaves and two oats. So we'll make... Maybe we'll swap these two agaves, like so. And then this is going to be, we'll make these corn. This is temporary. These are all temporary over here on the side. And once the guy, once these four above it get created, we'll swap that out to uh, some kind of food, probably oats. And then we'll build four more down here and that can be our permanent tequilas. So what we could do, if that's gonna be our case, we still need the cotton, right? So if we go plantation and we go like so, and we rotate this guy around. We could have one, two, three, four. We look at five cotton production places. And I think that's what we are going to do. Let's draw our road line right there and we'll connect it like so. That's quite the uh, farming plantation area, but it's important to have all these different things with farms all the time in every game. Are you in need of coal? Okay, can we upgrade this in the other way? Oh, we can. So let's get the lanterns in there because it's an infinite mine. We are not going to have to upgrade it and lose any other buff that we get for it. So this mine is almost out as well. Uh, we might as well go for the upgrade on this guy, but we don't have enough. Oh, but we do have our, um, what are these called? Our forge is done, so we could have enough building kits to do that. So let's go ahead and we'll upgrade this right now. We might as well. And then we can have infinite iron coming in too. There's still iron around the map, but that's okay. Uh, 
Ooh, so we need... I'll do you as that. That's sand. This is going to be our spirits production. We don't have potatoes yet, so we can't do that. I'm going to double up on this. Boy, oh boy, we are going to need a lot of water, aren't we? So we have furniture and custom furniture, and now we need fine leather to get that. And remember, fine leather is going to be under processing. Leather and then fine leather. So we're going to have two additional points here. But I think once we do the construction and furniture, like we did, and then we go back to education and we grab the boarding house and we grab the academy, I think we'll do that next. So let's grab that boarding house. I'm going to get regular furniture on one of these guys. And since this other one needs planks and fine leather, which you can't do yet, I'm just going to turn it off. I'm just going to have to remember to come back and turn both of these guys on once we get to that point. We've got two furniture factories making regular old furniture. That's fine. And then we'll have two that are making... We'll have three that are making regular furniture. Turn that off. So what's the difference here? So these guys can only make regular furniture. Okay. And then the other ones are making the fancy stuff. And then our other kiln was clay. And this one should be sand. This guy should be clay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. This guy making glass. This guy making clay. Spirits. Wow, wait, this is that was quite the deal. Quite the whirlwind of buildings all of a sudden. But that's good stuff to have. We come down here. It looks like these are still getting worked on. Ooh, this is ready to roll. We'll turn this guy on. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Bunch of people working on that. But looking over here, our food's still low. But that's in the process, okay. It looks like we're doing okay with water for now. I mean, that's the ridiculous amount we had to have. I'm, I am going to uh, open those up. Like so, like, you can just leave it like that for now. I'm not going to put anybody in there until our water starts to get lower. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll grab our boarding school. I haven't built one of these yet, but this looks like a fantastic place to put it. So we'll plop that right there. Kind of links up both of our, our town and our industrial workspace. That's cool. So this is going to need laid stone and furniture, which we are working on furniture. So that's good timing on this. We are going to need another neighborhood, aren't we? Unless I can start to get into those advanced houses. These guys right here. <laughs> so I definitely want to wait. Let's wait to get to the academy. We'll get our three, our free three points. And then I think we'll go down. We'll get the tent. We'll get the house upgrade. And then I think we will go into here and we'll get this tech learned because our quarry is probably about halfway uh, emptied a little bit less. OK, so yeah, that's going to need to be infinite eventually as well. So we'll come back and we'll get that stuff squared away. All right, we have the point for our academy. Let's get the academy rolling. We got three points, just as promised. So, you know, I'm watching our, our town develop here. And uh, instead of going for these, which I really wanted to, I think the better option is to be working down this tree and getting ourselves to animal power again. Because of how I've designed the town... Um, actually, no. I do want to go to animal power, but we can get this more attainable this time. So let's go backpack and let's go handcart. Uh, but as I was saying, because of how I've developed the town with the source resources of like flax and oats and that stuff that's going to be used in the industrial stuff, it's a long way from here all the way up here or, you know, in the buildings in betwixt the two areas. So I think by upgrading the logistics stuff like that with the hand carts, it's going to make the flow of goods a little bit more easy. Uh, we are still sitting at zero with fuel and clothing each which stinks. I did notice another problem that I was potentially having in with this massive uh, plantations that I have over here. People are going to get cold. You know, there's they, if they get hurt. They got a long way to walk. So I was thinking we put in another little neighborhood area on this side. So as you can see, I got two bridges that are connecting here. It's that's going to do two things. It's going to, like I said, provide a spot for people to warm up uh, and get food and whatever. And it's also going to satisfy these 166 citizens who want new houses, I think. So that's another spot where they're gonna be able to go they're gonna be able to grow and we're going to be able to have easier access for workers here it's just gonna be a better idea and we can also run a bunch of warehouses over here as well so we can capture as much of our harvest as possible i did plop in a couple more warehouses so i got one here you can see it's already getting full of stuff when we have one here and three more right here so just a couple more warehouses for that same purpose. You know, just a spot to capture as much as we can in each of our harvests. So we got our technology points. So now we're going to need to get somebody to build us some backpacks and handcarts. So remember, we we uh, plan for the handcarts, but not the backpacks. Cotton cloth will be used eventually, but we can't do it yet. So up here in our blacksmith area, 
that's why we put in an extra one which i thought we had turned off maybe this is maybe this is the blacksmith that i'm thinking of so if we go plank steel we can get, grab hand carts and i'm gonna absolutely do that and we're gonna put three people in there to make us those hand carts so planks again are in demand we have this guy that's working hard on planks we probably are going to need a couple more people because see we're sitting at zero and we, we're going to need a lot of planks. So we have a lot of stuff to do here. And ooh, we have a academy. Oh, that's right. Allows more students to study construction materials. Ooh, we can do that. All right, we'll do that. And we'll put this guy. Oh, look, ooh, our boarding house is complete. We'll have to check that out in just a moment. Or we tuck it back here. That, that'll be even better because then it's closer to our other people. We'll go like that, like so. But let's check out our little boarding house here. So students live here as well. 28 out of 30 that filled up really quickly is there anything that we can upgrade not quite yet okay that's fine we got a teacher in there of course that's great that's i really like that that's cool neat idea with that we have 213 naked people running around here we are gonna need some more leather i think but we'll worry about that in the next episode thanks for coming and hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a great rest of your day and i hope to see you on the next episode of settlement survival